able to find the back of the net on that, and right afterwards, it would be a goal coming from Chase Valiant that would give the West Van Warriors a one to nothing lead on that one-time shot from the right wing face-off circle. BWC pressured in the first period, however, but it was some good stops that were made by the goaltender in Braden Burroughs, who was outstanding in this game. Another opportunity there for West Van in the first period as well. Going to the backhand was Valiant as he got behind the defense, but Massimo were bounty keeping the game at one to nothing. The game was put to two to nothing or two to nothing later on, but that had a great opportunity there as a great chance in front there for Lundy swept off the goal line by Emery. BWC trying to tie the game with a terrific effort in front, but again it was Burroughs getting across on the blocker side, making a big save and keeping the game at one nothing. But a stretch pass from inside of his own zone by Ivanovic would find Carter Lundy dancing around a defender, getting to his forehand and beating. The goaltender Urbani on his blocker side, a great goal for Lundy as he was able to make a great move around the defense and give his team a two to nothing lead in the second period. Again, a big battle behind the net and a centering feed in front of the power play and it's BWC that were denied of a chance. Again, Burroughs, another fantastic save. He had a lot of these this morning and he was great once again in the goal. Two to nothing game in the second period before Justin Ivanasek made it a three nothing game. A backhand shot for the left wing faceoff circle and abbreviated power play past the glove side of Urbani. That was it for the BWC goaltender and that sparked Burnaby Winter Club because they made it a three one game before the second period was out and a great goal in front of the net. Nate Crema right in front able to bury it past the blocker side of Burroughs and give his team a three to one game. Early in the third period, an outstanding chance for Eric Emery as he got behind the defense going to his backhand, but it was Burroughs once again who would come up big and keep the game three to one on that breakaway attempt, moving to his glove side and making a big stop. As the game continued, the chances continued for BWC and they got the game within one. Josh Kelly on a scramble in front of the net, able to put it past Burroughs on a great effort in front of the goal for BWC. Their desperation showed late in the game. That made it a 3-2 hockey game. It's Emery again with a chance in the third period. Burroughs standing up with a good blocker save. Justin Avonisic, a great breakaway attempt, but it was Stenvik who came across with an outstanding stop and a good save by Noah Stenvik coming in to action in this hockey game to make a great save. Burroughs again, another solid stop there and a two-on-one late in the game. The eventual game winner, Avonisic, second of the game on a bouncing puck as he got the pass from Chase Folian and buried it on the glove side of Stenvig. That made it a 4-3 hockey game before a late goal by Burnaby Winter Club with 14 seconds left. Nate Kremis, second of the game, made it 4-3 as BWC would get within one late on that opportunity from Crema, but it was too little too late for the Burnaby Winter Club as the West Van Hockey Academy will be crowned Bantam Varsity Champions in the Bantam Varsity Division here in 2020. It's the West Van Warriors who are the champions here in 2020.